All right, this is the spotting tong clutch rebuild here. This shaft runs down to the spotting tongs down on the uh, table. The shaft has the spring here. The spring keeps tension on a gear back here. And what this is for is when your spotting tongs fully open or fully close, the gear will still spin and the shaft will stay solid. And that way we're not breaking parts off our gears. Uh, how this works is the spring tightener here. It's being held on by a roll pin here. There's uh, three settings plus an open to pass through. Most centers run on the number two setting for your spring, which this one is. So to get this apart, all I'm gonna do is depress this spring tightener in. I'm gonna turn it two positions clockwise, and it's gonna allow this whole assembly to come apart. Now this is free and spinning right now, so the first thing I do is I engage my gears, that way we're solid. The other thing is this plastic's just kinda sharp, so doing one machine's not too bad, but after four or five, you'll really appreciate the rag. So I'm going to just take my rag, I'm going to push in and turn clockwise, and now I'm on the first position, which we'll show you in a second. Now I'm going to push one more time, and now my assembly comes apart. So here's the spring tightener right here. We have our spring, and you can see there's a roll pin right here, and that roll pin is what's catching, you know, on the outside of our spring tightener. So then we have our retainers right here. We have a gear, we have our plate right there. Here's our gear, our second plate that the gear spins between, and then we have our outside spring tightener. And so all we're gonna do to do this assembly is we're just gonna take everything, use our rag real quick, clean it off, make sure we're free of old grease or debris. Just wipe every piece. Or tightener. Okay. Spring and the tightener don't work, don't matter, but keep them clean also. All right, so now all we need to do in order for this to work, so as you can see, when I hold this together and I'm putting pressure on, this is not really spinning very well right here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a light foam of grease on each of these two plates. Uh, like everything on a GS machine, we want to make sure we're using non lithium grease. I have seen it melt plastic on old GS machines with have people use lithium. And you'll see, once again, on all GS machines, just a light film of grease. You can see I'm essentially, I'm pretty much putting it on with my right hand and almost taking it off with my left hand. And so you should feel just the tiniest film. And so now you can see when I hold it together, now I spin between. If you overdo it, whether this is trying to engage to actually open and close your tongs, it'll start spinning and you know you will not pick up pins you'll drop pins so once again i just can't say enough just the lightest film of grease so once we've done that all we got to do is get it back on so we're going to go through our roll pins so i'm going to go through there's a very back roll pin back here so i'm going to do a quarter turn seat the back tightener do my first plate through do a quarter turn that way it's all in there i have my gear quarter turn other plate, quarter turn, retainer, put it on. Okay, I'm gonna just bring my spring up, and then this time to get it, I'm just gonna turn this thing counterclockwise to get it back through. So I'm gonna take this up, push in, and turn counterclockwise. And just so you can show you, there is the, the zero hole, we'll call it. Here's the first hole, and like I said, to, for proper spring tension, most centers run on the second hole, which I do personally. So I'm, again, I'm going to hold it in, push in one more time, and get it on the second hole. And now you can see when I pull in, my hands are kind of greasy, but the shaft will spin while our two gears are engaged. And that's how you rebuild a spotting tongue clutch.